All right, guys. Everything you see here is real. Remember that. I'm gonna discuss some serious concepts, and I'm gonna try to keep a straight face while I do that, because a lot of it's funny. But basically, I'm going to reveal to you, in serious terms, through facts that you can look up yourself, through ideas that will be communicated clearly, that autism is a complex, it's a complex loop, which as I'll explain later, is an information whirlpool that creates a way of calling it feedback loops. It creates feedback loops of all sizes and they interact with each other. And you have feedback loops made of smaller feedback loops. You have, uh, this is how systems are created between the feedback loops themselves. This is what creates the systems. But the other effect that it has is that information reaches an equilibrium. And there's, that doesn't mean order. That just means things are equalizing, that's it. But you could get equalized at a bad point. You could, uh, you could equalize pretty bad. Now, I don't know why I've been filming that corner out of all the fucking things, but I'll move to the board. All right. So here we have a blank board that says nothing, but it has a hair. On this board, I'm gonna write some words that you're gonna look up on your own time, because I'm not explaining all that shit. But I will give you a rundown of what it is. The first one is cybernetics. All right. First of all, I'm not even sure I, I, I told you guys what the fuck this video is about. All right. So we're, I'm gonna basically reveal to you what autism is, how it works, how it can be treated why some parts are extremely beneficial and should be left alone and how it all comes together in relation to schizophrenia and narcissism and bipolarism and psychopathy and i think i left one out uh well i'll think of it later the point of it is that these disorders as we call them are out they're all actually part of each other so that you have all right guys i'm high that has nothing to do with anything else other than the fact that i'm fucking high right now i smoked some weed so that's affecting my what word was i fucking spelling oh fuck i'm fucking up this video hold on a second oh oh yeah cybernetics hold on a second god damn it Guys, don't fucking smoke. People say that weed doesn't affect you. How the f Of course it affects you. No, it doesn't affect you. I'm just fucked up. No, wait a second. Is that what we're supposed to say or is that the truth? I don't think that's what we're supposed to say. God, all these weed people are going to hate me after this video. No, but for real, that's some of that shit's addictive, yeah. Alright. So, cybernetics. Cybernetics. I actually don't like this word. So cybernetics. Scientists that are cyberneticists. I hate saying that shit. But these people, they've noticed a pattern that I picked up on my own. And... The way I did it is significantly different, but relates to the same things that they've seen. So they've, they have a lot of cool terms for a lot of the stuff. And they've made some, I would argue, they're missing the bigger picture. Let's just put it like that. So 
they see cybernetics to mean the art of steering, like steermanship or a governor. So that when you're making decisions, you're not making precise decisions per se, but more like, you know, you're generally steering the ship in a general direction that you hope to get to. And as you get closer, you make adjustments. So you correct. So, you know, you're constantly steering to get to your point. Like you don't just straight a point and get there because you got perfect aim. You make adjustments all the way. So, so you're the steersmanship. All right. I just I think it's it's too much like the fucking Jetsons to me. And I don't know if this was before the Jetsons or after it. I'm not sure when the Jetsons came out. That's why. But this came out in the '40s and '50s. And really, I think they should turn the clock back on that and give Gregory Bateson some credit. Because he came up with something that I'm going to mention later that predates this and is actually extremely super critical to the function of cybernetics itself. But for now, let's just say these people are on to some big shit. And for some reasons, unexplained, they haven't really been, been paid attention to. Like, not really. This should be taught in every fucking school in America. In every fucking school in the world. And I think we should study it first just to be safe. Let's study it really hard. Because this shit right here is fucking... Well, that's a problem. I mean, I don't want to give the best of it away just yet. I will. But not right now. Because it's, it's, it's too much for some of you. So, cybernetics pertains to the steering bullshit not really what it really pertains to is well i'm telling you it's the fucking weight hold on a second so i can fucking write one yet though it pertains to information there we go look at those beautiful letters take form information yes Information. We're all familiar with this term, right? Information. I don't know what comes after that. Cybernetics. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Information whirlpools. Wow, that piece nearly perfect. There we go. Look how cool that shit looks. Information whirlpools. So what the fuck is that? An information whirlpool is information created by scattered information itself within the universe. This is how it starts. So I, I shouldn't be going this far back because that's not for this lesson. But for right now, let's... Just say that information is scattered through what you guys call space-time. And space-time itself is a shock wave. So this shock wave is cutting through the medium of dark energy. So it's, that's why it keeps expanding. That's why everything keeps getting filled by it. As things get further from each other, it's, it's just, you're moving in a medium. That's all it is. So the shock wave is spreading. So, but that has nothing to do with this lesson again. This one here, this one pertains to what happens when these whirlpool, whirlpools take shape. So, as the information gets scattered, some of it coalesces. So that you get small whirlpools. 